Quiz of the year. I never knew you entered a competition. I didn't think I'd get anywhere, that's why. Now I'm in the final. I can't believe it. Well, well done you. What do you get if you win? The prize is simply amazing. What is it? A lifetime supply of chocolate or a brand new mountain bike or the state-of-the-art MP3 player with surround sound speakers thrown in as an extra. Much better. The winner gets to spend a whole two weeks at summer school learning advanced maths, quantum physics and the science of magic. Great. It is, isn't it? It gives me great pleasure to announce that Cackles Academy has been chosen as the venue to host the final for the presentation of the prestigious Wiz of the Year competition. Now I'm going to need some volunteers to act as hostesses for our visitors on the day and the also the Goody Goody's always first volunteer. Crescent Moon Winter Chan, do you have something to say on the matter? No, Miss Cackle. Then perhaps you won't mind me putting you down as one of the volunteers. Who's next? And I've made a model of an evolutionary tree. I'll show it to you later if you want. Yeah, whatever. Hey! Who are you and what are you doing with those books? None of your business. Laces attachment mediatum. <laughs> gotcha, <Ow>. thief. <laughs> you to hovel? Why, may I ask, are you sitting on my nephew? How wonderful to meet you at last, Artemis. Your great aunt Constance has told me so much about you. And many congratulations on reaching the final of Wiz of the Year. Thank you. Artemis, these books you've chosen are of no use at all. I thought I gave you a list. Um, I lost it on Constance. Miss Cackle, absolute disaster in the kitchen. I presented Cook with your suggested menu for the Wiz of the Year presentation lunch. Date and delphinium salad, followed by wild boar and mushroom stew, and a light geranium mousse to finish. Yes, and she said, you can tell that woman that I'm a plain and simple school cook, not a gourmet chef, and walked out. She did what? Well, good riddance, she couldn't cook anyway. But what about the presentation lunch? You'll just have to manage. I'll do the salad. You can do the main course, Miss Swoop. What? And I'm sure Miss Widget can manage a geranium mousse, can't you, Miss Widget? Sorry? Geranium! Oh, it is, yeah! A very beautiful song it sings, too. Miss Hardroom, can I rely on you to make a tasty wicker sauce? Oh, I'm not sure I'll have time, Miss Gackle. I shall be busy coaching young Artemis here for the final interview. I'm sure you'll do your best, Constance. Just as Artemis will do his. Have you heard? Miss Hardroom's nephew's staying at school. I wonder what he's like. He's meant to be quite good looking. Also, I've heard. And clever. And almost sure if I win for the Wizard of the Year competition. Let's hope so, Belladonna. He's won several trophies and competitions over the years, including Magical Mastermind when he was just in. What a swat. No offence, Mona. Now, Artemis, if you would like to go and sit over there next to Belladonna, she'll be your hostess for the duration of your stay. Trust me, Artemis, the judge is a personal friend of mine, and I happen to know that genetics is his particular passion. But my talk's about the Big Bang, Constance. So you can expand on from that. Look, I've written up some notes for you. It's so teasing about giving him notes. Someone should settle him once and for all. Would you like a second helping of pudding, Artemis? No, thanks. Drinkers, immediatum, upset him. I'll get a napkin. No, I'll get a napkin. It's OK, I'm doing it. I need the bathroom. I'll show you where it is. Miss Hardroom asked me to look after him. I'm only being helpful. Only because you fancy him. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I don't. You do. Don't. Do. Don't. Don't. Do. Oh, see, I told you she... Now look what you've done. What are you doing? <sighs> what is it with you cackles, girls? Can't you just give me a bit of peace? If you want peace, I can give you plenty. Exodus, close them, and we do that. Open that door. 
Dear Aunt Constance, Can't face Wiz of the Year competition, going back to school. Don't worry about me. Love, Artemis. Duh. Wrong handwriting. Stylus, copius, writus, magicus. Hey, that's pretty cool. You're quite good at magic, aren't you? Not bad. Even Harshbrush says I've improved, and if she's... Oh. It's OK. It must be pretty hard having Aunt Constance as a teacher. It must be hard having Miss Hardbeam as an aunt. Tell me about it. How are you finds 24-hour chess tournaments? I mean, sometimes I just want to read my comic or go out on my skateboard. You like to skateboard? Yeah, I love it. Have you seen this? It's a skateboard flying school. Cool. I really want to go. If I win this stupid competition, I'm going to have to go to the summer camp for nerds. So... You're saying you actually don't want to win the competition? <laughs> of course not. What kind of loser would want a prize like that? My friend. Well, he is welcome to it. Mine is a girl, not a boy. But she can't be. It's a competition for wizards only. No, it's not. Is it? It's pretty obvious when you think about it. Wiz of the year competition. Oh, no. We've got to tell Mona. Exodus opener immediatum. <laughs> oh. Quite looking forward to staying there and missing the competition. If you don't want to win the competition, then why don't you just mess up the demonstration, pea brain? Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think about that? Mona, we've got some bad news. No, no, don't bet him in here! Oh, no. Now look. How am I going to fix this now? Mona, think carefully. Did you write your full name on the original entry form, or did you just put M. Hello? I don't know. I can't remember. Why? They think you're a boy. Who do? The judges. Don't be ridiculous. It's true. Art told me the competition's boys only. And you believed him? Very clever. You're trying to get me to drop out or something. No. Oh. He's not the enemy here. He doesn't even want the prize. And if you do, you've got to let us help you. A plan. We need to come up with a plan. Good afternoon, girls. Are we all met? I can't believe wonderful, I agreed to do wonderful. this. This gives Mona time to fix her model and us time to think what to do next. Right. Girls, what do you think of this? It's a recording of a geranium. Close your eyes, girls. Close your eyes and listen to the geranium. She's off on one. You're safe now. Maybe not keep your head down. Artemis? Hi. Why are you dressed like that? I'm, um, getting in touch with my feminine side. And where's Mona? Of course. That's it. That's what Mona's got to do. She's got to get in touch with her masculine side and be a boy for the day. Excuse me, Miss Widget. Fine. Tell of me if you want. But remember, you're supposed to be looking after me. Ah, oh, yes, Belladonna. Um, do you have recordings of any other plants? Oh, hundreds. One of my particular favourites is the sunflower. Mm. Listen, listen to this. Doesn't it make you feel happy? It makes me want to skip with joy! Come on. Mona's gonna do an interview dressed as a boy, right? And once she's won, she will reveal her true identity. They can't take the prize from her once she's won. Who's that hiding at the back? Come on, dear! Don't be a wallflower! Be a sunflower! Do you think it'll work? Works in Shakespeare's plays all the time. Miss Widget, could you please keep your class? Artemis? What on earth? Hello, Aunt Constance. I can explain. Of all the pupils you could make friends with, you choose the worst witch in the whole school. Why, Artemis? Hetty's good fun. Fun? You're not here to have fun. You're here to win that competition. Oh, you are not to associate yourself with that girl ever again. Do I make myself clear, Artemis? Yes, but... No buts. My word is final. Now, get changed out of that preposterous outfit and get yourself down to the laboratory to practice your presentation. Yes, Aunt Constance. 
Go! Oh, this is magic. Have you got any wizard's toenails? I thought you were just going to get Moe to dress up as a boy. No, that wouldn't work. You know how easily you got rumbled. No, we've got to turn Moe into a real boy. It's a cross generalisation potion I found. It should do the trick. What next? Single hair from the head of a wise man. Ow! This is a single hair. Anything else? No, apart from all the ingredients we didn't have, of course. How are you going to get Moan to drink it anyway? She didn't seem very convinced. Don't worry, I've got it all sorted. I thought I would bring you a nice cup of cocoa to relax you before the big day tomorrow. Oh, Hetty, that's so thoughtful. Thank you. You'll thank me a lot more in the morning, believe me. Good night, Mona. Night. Stand a chance of winning the competition, so I thought. Just get me back to normal, Hetty! Now! Um, thing is, you do have the antidote. No. No! How can I possibly go anywhere looking like this? Don't panic, Mona. I'll sort it. Just promise me you'll do your best today, Artemis. That's all I ask of you. I promise. Good. Now, get yourself some breakfast. There's a special delivery for you at the back door. I think you better come quick. Oh, that'll be my wild boar. Just get the delivery man to pop it in the fridge, would you? In the fridge? I don't think you'll like it in there, Miss Ruth. And anyway, it's a bit big. Big? And alive. And make sure you don't let him out of your sight until after the Wizard of the Year competition is over. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Miss Hardbury. Horrocks! Horrocks! Here a minute. Need some help today looking after you know who. Yesterday you told me to keep away. Yes, and today I need your help. Why should I help you? I thought you liked him. Yesterday I liked him. Today I don't. Well, forget it then. I'll look after him. Oh no, not again. And a drop of the original transgenderalization potion. I feel a bit mean about messing up the final presentation now. Well, if you didn't want to win... I don't. It's just Aunt Constance. It means so much to her and I made a promise. I just hate breaking promises. Let's go. Where have you been? Mona, your voice. Oh, no, just give me the antidote. Quick. without permission. Miss Hardboom, I... What's the point? Where is my nephew? He's gone off with Hetty Hubble again. What? But I think they've been up to no good. I found... Take this to Miss Swoop in the kitchen. I need to find my nephew immediately. But what about... This. By the way, got attention. What for? For being absolutely hopeless at looking after Artemis. Quite nice. Doesn't taste very meaty, though. Uh, that's because it isn't meaty. No. It's a wild mushroom and mushroom stew. A few problems getting the boar. Well, the dead one at least. Oh. Miss Sweet, Miss Hardbeam asked me to give you this. Oh. Miss Hardbeam's famous wicker sauce. Just what we need. No. Problem, Ben Ah. Uh, no. No problem.
Have you shaved it off yet? Don't worry me. I'm not exactly an expert at this. OK, the interviews are about to start. Art, we're going to need a hoodie and a pair of trousers. And Mona, the voice is good, but you're going to have to practice walking like a boy. And... Hedy, no. Enough. I know you mean well, but I just want to take my chances as me, OK? Best of luck for today. You're the one who needs the luck. Art's not bothered. He's planning to mess it up. Aren't you, Art? Um, actually, a promise is a promise of my book, Hetty, so I've decided to go for it after all. I'm sorry. May the best man win. Oh. <laughs> I would like to extend a very warm welcome to Wizard Stonyface, the judge of the competition. <laughs> and to wish all the young wizards the very best of luck. Our first finalist this morning is Artemis Hartbrook. Imagine a single primordial atom, a Thomas Revolvus. The atom starts to inflate and within many seconds overheats. And there you have it, the big... Next. Go, 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 And you are Mona Hallow. And yes, I am a girl. What is Mona Hallow doing up there? She's one of the finalists. I have here a copy of the rules of competition. Has Mona got a sore throat or something? There is absolutely nothing in here which forbids a girl from entering. So if you disqualify me today purely in the name of tradition or just because a girl has never entered in the past, then I say, shame on you. With a stony face, I must apologise. Mona Hallow, get yourself off the stage immediately. It's all right, Miss Hardbroom. I'm quite capable of dealing with this. <laughs> Very eloquent, my dear. But, you know, we'd always assumed that M. Hallow was a girl. Had you? Yes. I mean, how many wizards do you know who attend Cackle's Academy for Young Witches? Now, would you like to continue or not? Uh, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Your Honour. I, I mean, sir. My talk today is on the evolutionary tree, and in particular, I want to examine the magic gene which dates back as far as the Neanderthal man the bees growing back? After the Pleistocene era, or Ice Age, represented here on my tree by the uh, dinosaur. <coughs> Neanderthal man was uh, very hairy. This was to keep him warm during the icy temperatures after the Ice Age. My mum always said, never shave because it grows back thicker next time. She was right. <laughs> The Amstel man was, of course, very primitive, but also showed signs of great intuition and... <laughs> the effects of the transgenderalization potion will last approximately 12 hours. There you go. I gave you that cup of cocoa at 8 o'clock last night, so that's over. 16 hours ago. Oh, thank you, Artemis. See? It's bound to wear off soon, Mona. It's lunch and Wizard Stonyface is about to announce the winner. I'm not going anywhere looking like this. I won't win now anyway. You don't know that. Hey, Mona. What's that? It's my beard. It's coming off. The spell is finally wearing off. After much deliberation, I have decided to give this year's title of Wiz of the Year to Mona Hallow for impressive use of magic in her depiction of early Neanderthal man. Well done, Mona! I'd 
open to visit Stonyface, and there are still a couple of places on the summer school. I know how much this means to you, so... Oh, I paid for you to go. And you could bring a schoolmate to Aren't you going to thank your Aunt Constance? Um, thank you, Aunt Constance. You'll never guess what. I'm allowed to take a friend to the summer school, and I've chosen you, Hetty. Mmm, <laughs> tasty stew, Miss Swoop. Oh, my goodness. Just, uh, what exactly are the ingredients in your tasty wicker sauce, Miss Harper? 